The monarchy should have ended when the Queen died, says the Jamaican Prime Minister bent on republicanism. If you are new here, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holness suggested the country should have abdicated the monarchy once the Queen died, as an opinion poll showed 49% of Jamaicans in favor of becoming a republic. Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holness has vowed to complete his derailed effort to abandon King Charles and the monarchy. But he insisted that Prince William and Kate were welcome to return to the Caribbean island despite facing protests during a controversial royal tour last year. They are always welcome to visit, he said praising the generosity of members of the royal family in the face of protests against the republic and slavery, indicating that he would have liked to end the monarchy upon the death of the Queen. Ian, an interview with the Daily Express, Holness, who is in London on a private visit, said the death of Queen Elizabeth II in September last year would have been an ideal time for his country to become a republic. I think there has always been a strong love and respect for the Queen in Jamaica. The time to do this was in transition but he insisted he had popular support, adding. The fact is that recent opinion polls have shown that there is a trend towards Jamaica becoming a republic. So over time the situation has evolved. A poll conducted in May by Lord Ashcroft showed that 49% of Jamaicans supported becoming a republic, while 40% supported remaining a monarchy and 11% were undecided. Jamaica is one of eight Caribbean nations that have retained historic ties to the British monarchy, but there have been growing calls for constitutional change in each of them. Mr. Holness, 50, had hoped it could happen in Jamaica by June this year, but his government has faced delays amid debate over what kind of president should replace the king as head of state and how that person should be elected. The three time prime minister, whose government has pledged to renounce historic ties to the British monarchy ahead of Jamaica's next election due in 2025, needs to pass legislation and agree to a change in a referendum. He said, We're starting out on that journey. We've established indicative timeliness would like to be able to do this in a year, but the process is not linear. So we are on a public education journey. Then we will have a legislative component where we will put forward legislation that has to be in parliament before it gets passed for six months, and then we have to hold a referendum. But he was unable to give a timeline for when Jamaica would become a republic. It all depends on how fast the process is, he said. We intended to pass the legislation at least a year after we announced the formation and initiation of the constitutional reform process. But this has obviously been extended because we have had to engage in a long period of public education and public consultation. Just before the coronation, Marilyn Malahu Forte, Jamaica's Minister for Legal and Constitutional Affairs, slammed King Charles, telling Sky News. A lot of Jamaicans had a warm affection for and identified with Queen Elizabeth II. When Jamaica became independent, Queen Elizabeth was already on the throne. But they have no sympathy for King Charles. It is as foreign as it gets to us. Plain and simple. But Mr. Holness commended the king and his family for their understanding. Indeed, they were very agile, the royal family, and King Charles was very clear in the Commonwealth that these were matters to decide for sovereign states, he said. The Prime Minister, who has been Prime Minister three times and whose government has pledged to abandon historic ties to the British monarchy ahead of Jamaica's next election due in 2025, needs to pass legislation and agree to a change in a referendum. He said, we're starting out on that journey. We've established indicative timeliness would like to be able to do this in a year, but the process is not linear. So we are on a general educational journey. Then we will have a legislative component where we will put forward the legislation which has to be in parliament before it is passed for six months, and then we have to hold a referendum. But he was unable to give a timetable for when Jamaica would become a republic. It all depends on how fast the process is, he said. We intended to pass the legislation at least a year after we announced a formation and initiation of the constitutional reform process. But this has obviously been extended because we have had to engage in a long period of public education and public consultation. Just before the coronation, Jamaica's Minister for Legal and Constitutional Affairs Marilyn Malahu Forte criticized King Charles, telling Sky News. A lot of Jamaicans loved and identified with Queen Elizabeth II. When Jamaica became independent, Queen Elizabeth was already on the throne. But they have no sympathy for King Charles. It is as foreign as it gets to us. Plain and simple. But Mr. Holness commended the king and his family for their understanding. Indeed, they were very flexible, the royal family, and King Charles was very clear in the Commonwealth that these were matters for sovereign nations to decide, he said. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.